Welcome to the vlog. This is a very long walk in the mountains, down to the valleys, the rivers and the lakes. As you saw from the pictures, I've been uh, walking quite far already. You see the place down below? It's where I come from. I walked like, uh, I don't know, six or seven kilometers to get here. The last part was very hard. It's quite windy today, but not so windy now. It's a little bit chilling here because it's not uh, where the sun is shining. It's still more in the southeast. So now I will, uh, I will go up to the mountain top, and uh, from there, there will be more sun. I will go down to uh, what do you call Seter? You know, place where they have a cabin or a, it's like a small farm up in the mountainside, and that place is so beautiful. You will see when I get there. I made a film like this uh, from the same route uh, one year ago, but that was before I start making English vlogs. So this time I will make a English version, and I make a Norwegian version too. But I make this one a little bit shorter. At least you will see a lot of uh, nice pictures. Yeah, I go down there, and uh, there is uh, to a road. And on the side of a hill, down to a river, I follow it down to Lovelands, back to civilization. And then I go about three kilometers up to a mountain lake, very beautiful there. And I have to pass to the other side. It's a very narrow uh, path, it's a little bit hard to walk, but uh, I will manage. And there I will take uh, <laughs> the next long break and uh, have my dinner by a bench there, by the lake. I hope there's not so much wind so I can do some vlog into the camera again. And uh, I will go on the west side down there to the road and I will just follow the road. <laughs> I could hike the, all the the mountain all the way but by the time I'm there I'm so tired I have to just go even though it's not the shortest route uh, back home it's easier at that point just uh, continue along the road last time uh, this route was uh, 36 kilometers and uh, I uh, changed the beginning of the route a little bit because what uh, I thought was a shortcut yesterday <laughs> no last year was not a shortcut at all. I, I came to the swamp. Really swamp. And there was ditches. Uh, I have to climb over ditches all the time. It took me like one hour to get just uh, about 100 uh, meter or almost. It's right before the swamp thing was uh, rising up from the ditch. <laughs> Scary. So I ditched the ditch. Alright, I will hike the mountain now. I will take some pictures and uh, at the end of the film I will show you a map of uh, where I've been walking. I don't know if you, because you uh, listen uh, you watch this English version means that probably you're not uh, familiar to this place. I make a Norwegian and an English version, as I said. But uh, you will know this place more and more while you see my vlogs. And you can find it on the map. It's in uh, Tingvoll, Nordmøre, or Møre and Romsdal. Yeah. The 
north uh, northwest part of that uh, commune is uh, where this is. All right. Uh, see you at the top of the mountain. This is a very beautiful place. I want to mention. I've been here twice before last summer. Take off my rag sack now and I will walk around and look at all the beauty. I remember from uh, last year I uh, walked the same route. It's this way. 
Last time I uh, walked uh, up to a mountain hill there. It's not exactly a mountain, but a hill. And the road became much longer down to the civilization. The civilization ain't my goal, but I need to go uh, to that place to get into the road up to that uh, mountain lake. So now I know uh, approximately where I'm going. Such a nice trip. Uh-uh. I reached the end of the road. But I have some ideas about where to go. Back to the civilization. Taking a lunch by the river. Only this, this time. I fill up by water bottles. Sitting in a rock in the wild river. I like that. This is my life. I tried here. I really like this. I'm going to follow the river soon. Back to the civilization. And then a little break and then back up to the mountain, the mountain lake. Alright. I eat a little. Uh, it's late already, it's like past three. So uh, it's, it's not that late, but I have to keep on moving soon. I eat a little first. This is a real river safari. My shoes are wet. I don't care if I walk into the water now. It's okay. Let's break on through to the other side. Have a meeting across the side. The meeting across the river. Look at this, my god, what a natural beauty. The river was running more dry last year, one year ago, exactly on this day. Or maybe it was uh, May 31 last year. This is May 30. Look at this, so nice. This is the best part of the river, where it's widest. All right, I think I will uh, go on the other side and follow the track down the river, back to the civilization. Standing on a tall cliff here, above the river. Nice.
I finally made it back to the civilization. But still, I'm only halfway on my journey. So let's go. Looks like I'm gonna have to cross the mighty river one more time. Let's do it. Should I go to the left or to the right? Well, trust my memory. I walk right up here to the left. Such a lovely summer day. This place is a very uh, beautiful uh, place and it means uh, something special to me because I remember when I was about 12 years old back in 1986 I think it was I came from the mountain lake down here and I never uh, took that road before it was the first time I remember this log over the the lake here which is uh, 35 years ago it's the same log I'm sure it's the same and it's still standing here it was so exciting to be balancing over this uh, log which I'm also going to do today but first I'm gonna sit down on the log to have a little uh, fruity snack all right soon I'm going uh, the last uh, one and a half kilometers up to the mountain lake
Oh, it's very nice by the mountain lake now. It's always the art of the nature that is most beautiful. It's always the music of the nature which is also most beautiful. It gives uh, salvation to your soul. It calms your body and your soul. It is a big uh, recreation to go uh, to seek the silence and the beauty in uh, nature, especially at a place like this. Even I'm very tired. I feel, I'm filled with energies from the beauty, from the nature. We have the beauty and we have the silence and we have the bird songs, all these natural sounds. And so, some people, they watch YouTube videos with the nature or just the sound of the nature. Some maybe they are not able to walk into the nature anymore or sometimes there's winter and there's not so easy and they, they will not have that kind of sounds in the winter just sit watching it uh, longing back to the summer but I'm uh, still young, relative young and uh, in good shape, so I'm able to uh, walk into the nature quite a lot. And I will do it a lot this summer. And this is one of the longest trips. I walked already 10 miles, or uh, just over 16 kilometers, and I have 12 more. It's 7.40 already, p.m. And it takes over three hours to walk home. And I think I will be home by uh, about 11. And then there's only two hours till I'm going to sleep, so... I'm going to have a pizza which is ready in the fridge and a ice-cold nice beer. Only one. And that one will taste so good. I'm refreshed now because I just took a bath. But I will have to get a little bit sweaty, but it's downhill now. I have to cross some swamp, so I have to step my feet back in the wet shoes. I don't look forward to that. But a little bit uh, further down there, I can, uh, I can put on the other shoes. I uh, brought an extra pair, an extra pair of socks. I wrote a lot of change of clothes and I have been changing a lot so, because I've been soaked in sweat so many times, sweating many liters and I've been drinking a few liters too and I still have. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog, maybe the best so far. It's better now because uh, the snow is gone and uh, it's warmer. It's a little bit colder here now, so uh, because the sun has just uh, um, descended right behind the horizon in the in the mountain here now. But when I go down there, I will still have the sun. I will have the sunset uh, on my walk, and it will be warmer. So nice and uh, fresh. Uh, from the bath here and uh, if I had a tent I would just sleep here but I have to get home get home get home too late because I start to sleep a little bit earlier now around midnight usually and I want to maintain that good sleeping rhythm I think I will sleep good tonight because uh, I had a good day and I will be quite tired I, I am less tired than I should be. <laughs> Maybe in good shape, I don't know. If not, I will get in good shape by having uh, trips like this. So, uh, I'll be seeing you in the next vlog. I don't know where I will go, I don't know when it will be, but sometime uh, in June. 
Take care now. See ya.